All right, the NFC wildcard playoffs. Um, I did pick the San Francisco 49ers to win. They won 41 to 23. Um, it got it got out of line later on. It really got out of line. They was keeping up at first, but um, but here we go. I'm gonna go a little quicker than the last video, but the Seahawks, Geno Smith. 25 for 35, 235, I mean, 253 passing yards, 7.2 yard average, two touchdowns, one pick, three sacks. He got sacked three times, 65.8 QBR, 98.9 quarterback rate. He didn't play bad. Kenneth Walker with 15 carries for 63 yards and a touchdown. Geno Smith, four carries for 28 yards, seven yards to carry. The Cavs dominated 10 catches for the 136 with two touchdowns. Nobody else had over 40 yards, really, but there's the rest of it. Lockett had six for 39. Geno Smith did lose a fumble. Uh, Ryan Neal had 10 tackles. Uh, Cody Barton had nine. And these three guys had five. Bruce Irvin, Quandre Diggs. I think he had former Lion, too. And then Mike Jackson. And then um, pass deflections, they had four. Uh, Cody Barton had one. Mike Mike Jackson had one. Tanner Muse had one. And then uh, Taquan, I mean, Tyreek, I'm sorry. Tyreek Woolen had one. Sacks, they only had one. And that was uh, Bruce Irvin. Defense to get no interception, but the kick return, six returns for 150 yards and 25 yard average. So 37 was his long, so the kick return did good. Myers did good with a 56 yard field goal. Then a punter had 48.5 yard average out of four punts. He had one inside the 20. San Francisco, I start from the bottom. San Francisco, the punter punted one time and it was inside the 20 at 57 yards, so good for him. Bradley Gold, four for four. Field goals, his longest was a. Uh, 46 and he got three for three extra points. Uh, Ray McLeod got one punt return for 16 yards, which is good. That's a good return. And then they had one one pass deflection that was Dia Dia Modor Lenore. Uh, tackle for a loss. They had five. So these each each person had one. Nick Bosa, uh, Charles, Amini. I mean, he, whatever, uh, Tayshawn Gibson, Gibson Sr., uh, Eric Armstead, and um, Jovan Kinlaw, and then uh, Green, Dre Greenlaw had 11 tackles, Fred Warner had six, uh, each guy had five, Lenore, uh, Nick Bosa, Samuel Womack the third, Talanoa, Hufanga, they all have five, at least five. Bosa with a uh, fumble recovery. Well, who forced the fumble there? I don't know. But uh, receiving, Debo Samuel, man, I to, I can, he's a top seven receiver in my opinion. Six ca catches for 133 yards and a touchdown. Brandon Ayuk, one, three catches for 73 yards. Jawan Jennings, two catches for 41. Kittle, two for 37. Eli Mitchell had two for 25. He had a running back, and he had a touchdown, too. Chris McCaffrey had a Two catches for 17 yards and a touchdown, too. Um, Christian McCaffrey, 15 carries for 19, 119 yards. Debo Samuels, 3 for 32. And then Brock Purdy, 18 for 30 with 332, uh, three touchdowns. Uh, a running back. Yeah. King? And got a second or third round pick. And then you could augment those different positions uh, if you think B. John Robinson is that special back, which I think he is. Uh, that's one way to go. Uh, the other thing is they need offensive line depth, and you got to look at free agency. There are a lot of veteran corners who are going to be available in free agency. A lot of them. Uh, no guards. The guards are like way down the list. They need a guard, and they need offensive line depth. So you get, if you're trying to coordinate free agency with the draft to try to move yourself forward, that's the position that the Lions find themselves in. Uh, Dave, you're on 19.5.